stage is set for the defense of Terok Noah, defending the wormhole from the dastardly Federation. <laughs> God, I should write all the movies ever. Terok Noah is under threat from the Federation. Captain Stu here, playing some actual attack wing for once on his attack wing-ish channel. Big lineup for the defense of Terok Noah. 12 ships total from all over the Dominion. No non-Dominion ships, minus one uh, Mirror Universe ship that we're kind of treating as a Dominion ship just because I only had so many models. So we got 12 for the Dominion. Everybody's level zero reference the captains. Save my boy Goldicott, who's an admiral, and equip it with a fleet action, which I'm not going to say aloud because my opponent's nearby. So I'm Steve, I'm a friend of Stu's. I'm going to be playing Federation. Uh, two of a lot of classes, the um, Saber class, I've got two of them, the two Defiant classes, they're all the main ships. Uh, only one Excelsior, I don't have a lot of the OP ones that uh, I really want to get because I would play like four or five of them. Uh, fighters, and then a lot of the big ones like Prometheus, the Enterprise, and uh, I didn't go entirely just with the bare minimums. I tried not to go crazy with the uh, extra points, but uh, some people might recognize some strategies in there. Some of them are bare bones, some of them have quite a bit that kind of the cards play off of each other.
things are not going well. Uh, yeah, a lot of shit should blow it up. It, it's cool to like have the freedom of movement of all my ships at the same time, but the fact that they shoot second kind of means it's like, quick, move into position to be destroyed.
Whew. See? And like, like I love about this game, at the very beginning, it looked like, not that I was not going to take any casualties, but it looked like I was going to be in a lot better shape at the end of this. But, you really, you blooded oh, me quite a bit. I really wish I'd gotten that last, uh, yeah, that last fire. That last fire. I wanted that fire done. <laughs> that guy's getting promoted. You ready to do an outro? Uh, I would have. My my original plan was my big ships were gonna punch through and just yeah. go right for DS9, and then come back. And they were so they were gonna destroy DS9, and then they were gonna be my reserve. And all my little ships, which was like five of them, were all gonna coup run as soon as they got on the other side of the line, coup run, and then just Same. hit back. So, my, my so intent, it did not go like that at all. It so just kind of like wobbled. I put a big stiff line out in front, yeah. and then I put a punching bag out in front. Right. That worked really well because mm -hmm. he took a lot of the first mm -hmm. few hits, mm -hmm. letting these guys to get a couple rounds off. Mm -hmm. um, not didn't go as well as I wanted. And then my intent had been, you know, throw you a couple bones to sink you in closer to Tower of Nor. Right. And then I'd start hammering you with that from afar, and then throw you a little tiny crappy ones. Right. To to take. To just keep delay off me. of Terok Nor. Right. So, so I could get those take six guns. dice every turn while these guys got destroyed. Right. And then I was hoping that between the hard line and Terok Nor in the back, um, and then the occasional lucky shot from my uh, from the sacrificial lands in the middle, that I would wear you down enough all the time. So I mean, parts of my plan worked, but uh, on the whole, not oh, all not. of them. Yeah. Due to that one fighter. <laughs> yeah. Fuck that guy. <laughs> I went in with 12, and now they're all dead. And you went in with ten, ten. and you've got five left. You're you're technically a fifty percent strength remaining, so that's pretty good. And the divine fighters, fighters, man, as I hate, it should. I hate the fighters so much. <laughs> yeah, well, I guess they changed its name, and that's why it was the first contact. Because the defiant got nope. blown up, and then they're like.